Hey everyone, welcome back to another place, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And this video, we're going to be getting the last ring to progress the story and actually meet uh, meet Maria twice uh, before we face Richter in the, in the top of the castle keep. We just need to make our way back to the area that we needed the spike armor for. Now, if you have been playing the game uh, pretty much like I have been in the past few videos, or in all the videos, you should have the full castle completion uh, by the time you meet Richter in, uh, in the boss fight area. And that's what you want to do. You have to... the higher the percentage is, is what you need to get the, the best ending overall. Now we should be towards the the Royal Chapel area, and we're heading towards the top left of the map. Yeah, it's gonna be close enough. Great thing about this area, you could really use the power of Wolf to dash through most of this this section to get to that area fast. Now the thing about the Wolf form is you you do want to hit as few enemies as possible because when you're doing the charge uh, every time you hit the enemy when you're in charge form it takes a piece of mana so that's why you want to try to limit to how many things you run into on the way there Yeah, this is the best area. Bat form probably would be better, more cost efficient, but it's not going to be as fast as wolf form in that area. Now, and for those who didn't know, the when I got that iron shield off screen that one time, uh, it's these winged guardians that are the ones that dropped it right there. Uh, it should be their common drop if you ever wanted to farm them, because they still have one of the best uh, shields for using the the shield rod with. It actually is handy with some of the some of the bosses. And this is what we needed the spike armor for. And you don't have to break all the spikes. You can just run through them. But I just tend to. This is how I like to do it. I has, my area has to be neat. Kind of OCD like that. It's kind of hard to get that last one. I think yeah, the best way to do it is turn it to bat form. Yeah, there you go. Alright, should take care of all the spikes. I'm gonna put back the walk armor because we don't need the spike breaker anymore. And this is one of the first times we meet Maria in this video. So, did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. That, that can't be true. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. Yeah, don't kill the messenger, Maria. Now, this is where you get the last silver ring with that we needed. Inscription in tower. Now uh, we're going to head back towards the clock tower. And you can sit down on these if you want to. Nothing ever happens. Just more of the stuff they put in the background. Now let's see how fast I can get it to the clock tower. That was totally luck, but alright, I'll take it.
Now for the Richter fight that's coming up, uh, you don't want to hurt him because he's he's <laughs> he's not him, and it doesn't matter which sub weapon you have because he's immune to all of them because they're all holy damage based. So it doesn't matter which one you end up uh, you keeping or having at the time during the fight because every time you use it on him, it's just gonna say guard because he's immune to it. The good thing is we do have the holy sword, and that only does that. I think he's guarded from that as well, and that's what we want. We really don't want to hurt Richter. We want to try to kill what's possessing him. And now we're almost to the clock tower. When we get here, this is when you finally put on the rings. You could put them on prior before getting this room or not. Uh, doesn't matter. As long as you're wearing them in this room. Now, have you noticed if you put them together, wear in clock tower. It doesn't matter which one you put on what area. And then once you put them on in the room, guess what happens? Alright, and then when it's open, you can just switch back to your normal accessories, because you don't need the rings anymore. Go to the right first to get the life up and the heart up. And the left side is just going to be a save room, but you still want to do the castle completion, so we'll just walk in and out. Here it doesn't matter which side you come, left or right. And this is the second time you meet Maria. Alucard? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here, take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. All right, and what she gave you was the holy glasses. This is what we need to uh, save Richter properly, because without these, we wouldn't be able to see what's uh, controlling them. Holy glasses sees beyond magical curses. Uh, as it, it uh, doesn't add anything to defense, but we only use it for one fight anyway. And now we're going to start heading towards the top part of the castle now to face Richter. Now you should be around this level range, I think I'm 27, 28, 27. Uh, it's going to be, you can get higher levels, but like at this point there's nothing in the castle that will give you XP more than one point per kill, so it's kind of pointless and even then this is, the level I'm at right now is way overkill for the fight coming up. As you can see I'm just tearing through all the enemies right now. And I should be able to use Wolf Form to get to the other part now. Okay. 
This should be the long area. I love that spell. Alright, and we're just basically I'm just heading towards the teleport room and then that should take me to the the teleport room next to the castle keep. Pretty sure I haven't missed any part of the castle. Uh, by now, uh, I'm gonna bring up the map in just a second. Uh, for you, I like to try to get everything completed before I face Richter, because then I just kind of forget about it if I don't. But uh, let's see. I'm trying to. No, it doesn't look like I've seen any missing rooms or areas, except for the top part. But that's where Richter is at. But that should take care of it for this castle. Now I'm gonna head towards Richter now. And like I said, there's nothing you can get. Like the cross is not a part. That's even a worse weapon to fight against because he's just immune to all the sub weapons. Answer me, why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. Okay, like I said, the purpose of this fight is not to hurt Richter. Uh, also, when you're here, if you have the holy armor, go ahead and put it on, because all of his attacks are holy based. So every di everything he does to you should only hit you for a max of one to two points of damage. And if you wanted to kill him, the best weapon would be the uh, this one because it's the the cursed one and it's strong versus holy. But we're going to keep the holy sword because every time we hit him, he should be immune to it. It should say guard. They should only hit us for one or two. One. Now if you notice, uh, my sword's only hitting him for a few points of damage, and when I hit him it says guard. But what we need to put on is the holy glasses. And now when we put this on, we can see what's going on. He's being controlled right now, that we couldn't see normally. And that's what you want to attack. And with, since you're having the, the holy sword, you don't have to worry about your attacks hitting Richter. of Count Dracula is at hand. No. What have I done? Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. And now we're heading towards the, the 
teleportation room to something someplace different. And here we are in now the inverted castle. And I think I'm going to stop the video here guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out and I'll see y'all next time.